Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, my name is Maggie Hardy. Hi, how are y'all doing today? I know, I know, I've been gone for three and a half months. Don't come at me, I've been busy. But I'm here and today we are gonna get into the Volume 2 ABH Norvina Collection Palette and I'm going to show you how I got this look right here. But before we get into the video, I kinda wanna show you the PR boxes that it came into. If you don't want to see it, you guys can skip forward and go straight to the tutorial. And then at the end of the video, I also talk about my thoughts and the palette more. This came in a box pretty much just like this box. Um, I'm not going to pull it out because it's under my computer and it's holding up my computer. So it pretty much came like this with the eye primer. But first, let's get into this one. This is the glitters that came with it. I mean, look at the packaging. It's just a tropical rainbow, holographic, beautiful dream. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. I worked so hard for this and I'm so blessed. So let's open it up. This is what all the glitters look like for the collection. She said these were supposed to be like carnival collections, but they didn't get done and ready in time for carnival season. But it's never too late to be a part of a carnival for your own carnival for all I care it is a happy carnival season every day I used this one in a look yesterday which is up on Instagram if you want to go check it out Maggie underscore Hardy 88 that's where I'm at most of the time look at the stars I love them I can't wait to do a look with this I cannot wait to do a look with these but this is what the palette looks like again just a beautiful moment the packaging a1 and I love that it has the magnetic on it and then it has the big full mirror also on it here she is dun, 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 dun. I know a lot of people don't like color especially on YouTube Instagram is more of the you know crazy beautiful colorful makeup um, YouTube is more of the everyday makeup but this is what she looks like. She's absolutely stunning. 25 shadows. So this bad boy right here retails for $60. It will be available on the website and at Sephora on the 26th, which is just a couple days away. Are y'all going to get it? I really hope y'all do because it's amazing. It's an absolute wonderful palette. I mean, ABH and Novrina absolutely killed it. And I'm super excited for her for these launches. The reason that she dropped this collection and it's like boom, 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 just right after another is because this is her own collection. Like it's still a part of ABH, but it's its own separate collection. These palettes match her personality so, so much. And y'all know Anastasia Beverly Hills is more of the glam, everyday, soft glam kind of makeup. And that's what Anastasia's brand is is an everyday, everyone glam moment. And Anastasia Beverly Hills came out with this, so it could be more fun and on brand for her and her personality. So I'm super excited about all of these collections. There's three of them. Other than that, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on all my social medias, which is pretty much Twitter and Instagram, which is Maggie underscore Hardy 88. Pretty simple. I spend most of my time over there on Instagram. That's where I've pretty much been since I've been off YouTube. Two videos again because I miss it and I miss y'all. If you're not a part of the family and a VIP, please become a VIP. And without further ado, let me stop blabbing my mouth and let's get into this tutorial. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with concealer. I'm just gonna use the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Just enough for the base. You can use whatever base you prefer. A lot of people, they've been sending over this eye primer from Anastasia Beverly Hills, but I find that every time that I use it, I get patchiness. So I only use it to actually cut the crease and it works really well for that. So I'm just going to work in this base. I figured I wanted to do a blue look today. So we're gonna go into the color C2 first. It has a little bit of sparkle in it, but for the look that I'm going for, I think it's gonna be perfection. All right, so I'm taking an Anastasia A13 brush. It's kind of like a shadow packing brush. I'm going to work this into my crease so that I can get my base to not crease in my crease. So I'm not taking it all the way in. I'm gonna actually just take it into the inside of my eyeball. And then from here, I'm just going to stamp this up a little bit just to bl help blend it out. I find it better to stamp 
instead of actually blending. And then from there, I'm going to just pack this on my lid. So now that we're done packing that color on, we're gonna go into C4 and pack this beautiful blue on. And this is just a BH pencil brush. I'm gonna pack this on my outer corner. Ooh, that color's pigmented. Okay, and once I have that, I'm gonna go in again and just stamp. And see how that just lightly blends out without having to shuffle it all around. So I'm gonna go dig back into C2, which was the first color that we used, and help blend this out. That way it just all melts together. We have that all blended out. Then we're gonna go into D1 right here. This shade is absolutely beautiful. I love, this is probably my favorite shade in the, in the palette. I mean, just look how stunning that is. And this is gonna go on the inner corner. I know it looks like a hot mess right now, but we're gonna blend all this together and it's gonna be perfection. Now I'm gonna go in with no product on this brush and just lightly so ever lightly start blending this up and out. And then I'm gonna drag this up. Okay, and then we'll go in here and we're just going to feather this out in a V shape. Okay, I'm gonna go do this to the other eye and put on a whole new face. Okay, so we are back with full face on and the other eye done. Um, I have a jar piece right here that I can't get rid of, so y'all are just gonna have to look at it. If I didn't point it out, you probably wouldn't have even been able to notice that it was there. To finish off the lower lash line, I'm gonna go into that deepest blue that we used, and I'm going to pack this just right here on this outer corner. And then I'm gonna go in and sharpen this up. Then going in with the first blue that we used, blend this out. From there, to really actually like blend this out like pretty good, I'm gonna go in with just some translucent, well this isn't translucent powder, this is actually vanilla powder, but you can use transition powder because there's really not a skin tone transition shade in the palette so i'm gonna go in here and just really blow this out hardly even touching this now we're not gonna highlight the brow bone just because i don't want to take away from the shimmer and if i highlight the brow bone then it's just gonna be one just big old long strip and that's not what we want so once you get this blended out pretty much how you want it just do it to the other eye also okay so for what are these things called um, lashes. <laughs> for lashes, we're gonna go in with the Glam Cosmetics. These are in the style Sultry. They're so beautiful. I absolutely love these lashes. So I'm gonna throw on some mascara and throw these lashes on and I'll be back and we'll talk about the palette. All right, so this is the finished look. I really love how it turned out. I This is the second look that I've done with this palette. The first look I have up on Instagram. If you wanna see it, go check it out. So my name is Maggie underscore Hardy 88. That is where I spend most of my time and why I've been so absent from YouTube is because I just been focusing on that and since focusing on that I have had a lot of blessings come in my life so I want to get back into YouTube we'll get there so this is the look I absolutely love how it turned out it's so gorgeous so so gorgeous I really love to put a red lip with this Anywho, so let's talk about the palette. Again, this is what she looks like. It's 25 shadows, and they are named from A1, A5 to E1 and E5. It's just easier to kind of navigate when doing tutorials, just having a very simple number. Now, I have had no issues with blending. I've had no issues with packing. I've had no issues with patchiness, not with this palette. And again, so far I've done two looks with this palette, but again, I haven't dipped into every color. This palette and then volume three, which she announced um, yesterday or a couple days ago, yesterday, is going to be live on their website on AnastasiaBeverlyHills.com and also on Sephora on the 26th. So y'all let me know if you're gonna go pick it up. It is gonna be $60. I know they are kind of pricey and then They've dropped volume one, two, and three, boom, 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 just like that. And I know it's expensive, but as an artist, an influencer, an MUA, I think it's just a necessity to have these in your life. The formula is unbearably believable. It is so nice. It's, I love it. And the glitters will also be available um, online. So my next one is supposed to be here tomorrow or Thursday. I'm super excited for that one because this one is more of like an autumn wearable compared to the first two palettes so again $60 on the 26th of September you need it because it is just a tropical 
dream. I love it. I love it. I'm going to finish now with I love it. That is really all that I have for y'all today. So I really hope that y'all have a very great blessed day. Also, make sure you go spread your love and kindness because you may be the only Jesus someone sees today. So just be kind, you know, just go be kind to people. Okay. And I love y'all and hopefully I will see y'all again very soon. Bye y'all.